Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. So now we are on to the second part of the t t t temple, sky city in the sky temple. Now we're going off to the right to go to the next section. And over here we have another bridge extension here. But except this time we're not dealing with any, uh, any other enemies, so it's not as bad. Or we're not dealing with um, the dragon, I should say. I don't know why I said enemies, because there's two, two good bottles there. So let's pull out the spinner and then spin it to extend the bridge. And then there are cardo rocks, but at least it's not a dragon, so they're easier to get by. Alright, so now the bridge has been extended. And there are a few cotter rocks over here, but we can just ignore them. Oh boy, whoops! <laughs> I guess I was a little too eager to get across. Let's go across right now. Now, 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 now. Here we go. Go ahead and open up the door. And that's all said and done. So now we can go on into this next room. Where there's a bit of a puzzle. But it's actually not that hard. Nope, not the wrong thing. That's the wrong. No, not that. Get off that. That's not what I meant to do. So what I need to do is I need to pull out my claw shot right here and shoot the target. It's right here. And that will turn the fan in the middle off and allow us to go forward. So now we can actually continue onward. Let's get that heart. So we'll go ahead and put it on our iron boots. It'll stop the fan on the very end of the room, I should say. Ow. Haha, <laughs> get, get thrown into the abyss. So now we're going to claw shut up to this vine here. Because it's actually safer to do it that way. And then we'll drop down here. Haha, <laughs> you missed. So now we're going to go over to this room right here. And this will actually give us the dungeon map right here. So we're going to go ahead and open up the chest to get the dungeon map. Yay, dungeon map! So we got all that, so now we can go ahead and leave this room. There's an Uku in here, but there's nothing we could do with him, so just head on back. And now we can go across this little platform over here. And we can go into this next room. That's a little tricky, but we'll get through it. We need to actually pull out our Gale Boomerang for this section, because there's a couple of enemies around here that are going to hinder our our uh, our, our uh, progress. So we're going to jump across here. And before we go to this next one, there's actually a tile worm right there. So I can actually just uh, throw the big gale boomerang at it and it will knock it off. So it won't be able to go anywhere else. There's no one right there. Oh, that's one right there. So if you get lucky... Whoops. Sometimes the tile worm can actually get knocked off. Or do that, for example. So now we can actually go over here. And there's another tile worm right over there. So just knock him off his pedestal. Oh boy. And then we can go ahead and jump forward. Oh boy. I don't know where he... Oh, he was on that ledge. I was like, where is he at? So then we're going to jump across here to this little platform. And then go through the door. And we'll actually face off against two Denalfos. And there's actually a pretty easy way to deal with these guys. To just one-shot them with bow, uh, bomb arrows, which I am going to do now. Just to get rid of them very easily. Shit, wait. 
So we can just one shot them. Oh, they dropped rupees. So we lost the rupees, that's fine. We lose rupees every now and then, so it's no big deal. Alright, so then we can go ahead and hook shot up here. And there's actually a little bulbous switch that we can grab onto and it will activate a um, gust of air to happen in the middle of the room. Which will allow us to get up higher into the room because there's actually a second, uh, sec basically a second story in this area. So we can go ahead and grab one of these Uku and then fly up over there. And the gust of wind will shoot us upwards and we can now enter into this next area. So now we are over here and we can now uh, actually drop down to the edge over here and get gust blown up by a gust of wind across here. Now there are a few chests throughout this room. Um, but wait, hang on guys. Okay. Um, this chest actually has, I believe, 50 rubies in it, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it does. Okay, cool. So now that that's over with, we can actually hook shot. No, not that. We can actually hook shot back over to this side. And then we need to hook shot the Uku back with us because we need his help to get across. So we're going to go ahead and stand on this little ledge here and it will gust, blow gust of wind upwards at us. And then we come over here to activate another switch. And then we just put a shot onto it, and it will activate another uh, gust of wind to happen on the other side of the room. And if we jump down here, we can get lucky and get blown upwards into the next area. Oh, I lost the... Oh, I lost those blue rupees, that's fine. So we're just going to stand here and then get blown upwards. Oh, whoops, that's not good. Oh, well, that's not... Yeah, that's not good. Okay, I'm going to have to get one of these. No, not that. Don't kill the Uku. I need this Uku's help. Oh, boy, hang on, wait. Try it again. I think I need to go forward like this. Probably. There we go. So now we can actually go into this next room. Alright, there we go. And now we can head through this door. I know that there's a couple of chests in here that I'm not grabbing, guys, because they just contain rupees, and I personally just don't feel like I need them. So if we go into this room, this is where it gets complicated. There are a lot of gusts of winds and a bunch of platforms throughout this area of the temple. And our goal is to basically get to the very bottom, because that is actually where the mini boss is. So we're going to pick up an Uku and just start heading down. <gasps> Whoa! I am going to get blown out. Yep. We got to start over. I messed that up, guys. You gotta be careful of those gusts of winds, otherwise they'll knock you out of the uh, out of the area. So we basically just need to. Whoops! Oh. So it's convenient because there's a bunch of these little uku that are all around the dungeon that we can get to. Oof! I almost got blown out that time. No, not that. So now we can basically just go ahead and glide on down here. And this will take us to the room where the mini boss is. So, Alrighty, guys, well, that is going to wrap it up for this episode of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the next video, we will take on the mini boss of this temple. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.